Hello YouTube. I'm here today to finally give you my 4C hair news. As y'all can tell, after over a month, I finally was able to da -da -da -da, press my hair. And this is the results. This is what my hair looks like if when pressed. <laughs> That's my hair on the sides. If I stretch it, comes here. My hair is a little bit longer in the back, and I also include some pictures. Um, I actually love it. I think it's pretty nice. And I don't know what I told y'all this or not, but I haven't pressed my hair in ten months. And 10 months ago, my hair was only 2 inches, so I had this spike thing going on. And then after 2 weeks of that, I found out that I can just go to the store and get a little gel to keep the spikes up. So, I haven't pressed my hair in, let me see, my last press was July of 2011, and it's now May 2012. So, I've been, ten, up until now, I've been 10 months heat free. Mm. I think it's 90% good. And I say 90% because I'm afraid that it might not hold up through the night. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to sleep with my satin cap on. Um, I think I should have went bone straight, but I didn't want to go bone straight on the very first time. And then as I was going down, I noticed that the smoke and the little fine hair is coming off. I'm guessing that was a combination of being a shed hair and other stuff. But I don't think I suffer any breakage issues because I looked at the stuff and I, all the hairs that did come out had the bug, so that was shed hair, not breakage hair, hopefully. And I did my measurements. My hair still comes to the eye a little bit. So, no breakage issues. It's a little bit movable. I don't know whether y'all can see that or not. I think it's pretty decent. I, I can get used to this. I am get used to this. So tell me what y'all think of my 4C press here. Leave a comment in the in the box. Any tips, definitely suggestions on how to maintain this. As y'all know, I'm fairly I'm fairly new to this. This is my first ever video where my hair has ever been pressed because I've always Last time I had a perm that was like this slim, and there was no need to press it. Like, if I wanted a different style, I put in a, I just popped on a, a lace front or something. But I mean, a wig, I, I can't afford no lace front. I just popped on a wig or a U part or whatever. This is my first time ever having my natural hair pressed. So, it's going to get some taking used to. I love it though. So once again, tell me any tips, suggestions on what should I do, how to maintain it. Also, feel free to rate and subscribe. Oh, wait a minute. But before I go, let me show y'all the products that I use. I use my Elastic QP Design Silk Thermal Styling Spray Sit Wrap for my protectant. It got a long list of ingredients in here. Vitamin A, B2, C, D, E, F, H, and K. Water, PVB, fruit oil, coconut oil. Biotin. For a complete list of products in this, feel free to revert back to one of my videos. I'm not sure what video that I went through all this in. Try to check out either my product video 1, 2, or 3 is more likely in one of them three videos. For my finish, I just use my um, 
or again it's tea tree shine spray and you just it gives a little sheen to the hair and for the first time ever I got to use eco styler I know I'm so late with my naturals been using this for months and months on end this is my first time using it and I can't really give a review on it because it did not go so well on my sides because I did not do my hair my cousin did it and it looked like she was trying to cake that stuff on this is what my sides look like I don't know y'all can see that on the camera or not It did pretty good at slicking back my sides. Let's see if it does that again tomorrow when I do my graduation practice. Because I decided at the last minute that I'm going to walk. I'll talk more y'all about that tomorrow. So once again, I know this is the third time saying this. I'm sounding repetitive. But any comments, tips, please, please. I'm asking please for any suggestions on how to maintain this as long as possible. I know it ain't going to be no week, but at least for two days. Because y'all know I wash my hair on Sunday, so my hair will be back to a fro on Sunday. But any tips and tips, suggestions on different styles that I can do with this kind of length hair. Um, any preserving tips moisturizing tips because I can't use certain stuff like I know I can't do my water spritz with this hair. I can't I can't moisturize with my curl enhancing smoothie per se because like it's a curl enhancing product and I want my hair to be straight. So I'm definitely open up to tips, comments and suggestions. Also feel free to rate and subscribe.